hi guys welcome back to the channel welcome back everyone make sure you guys go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button make sure your subscribe button is gray and not red only thing you have to do guys is hit that red subscribe button and make it gray make sure your post notification bell is on you know that bell that ring give you that notification just hit the button only thing you got to do guys is hit that red button that notification bell on so you will be notified Anytime is D upload over here at Closet of Sass. Let's go ahead and do this video. Now, y'all, when I tell you I have definitely been busy on these I need bad drills, baby. Miss D has been busy. Okay. So what we're gonna do, okay, if y'all seen the previous videos before this. And y'all have already seen some of them, right? Okay, now is our time to show you the tutorial of them, okay? Even though we have more to come after these, all right? Now, y'all already know how to set them with the dome, the image, and using the bottle cap. You already know how to do that because I explained that to you guys in the previous videos, right? Okay. Now, y'all also know how to put the charms on and stuff like that. Y'all also know how to put the mesh bling to bling it out going around, right? Yes, Miss D, we do. So, guess what? Baby, y'all are fixing to learn how to put the bees on these bad drills. And I would definitely do a project share on all the um updated bad drills that we have done i would definitely do a project share once i get once we get the tutorials out okay so now y'all gonna learn how to put these on y'all know it's a lot of videos on here showing you how to do so okay but miss d is fixing to show you guys how she does it over here at closet of sass okay this is the cna one if y'all remember i had the um beads on them and i was just showing y'all the charm because these could also be like um bass charms as well and you can also use these for zipper pulls this is this is a total another whole video so we're not really going to get into this but i decided i'm not going to keep these beautiful beautiful charms that i made on here for these okay for these bad drills so they will eventually come off and we're going to go ahead and jump into this video and show you guys how we can get these here to look like these all right so right now i'm just going to do some of the nurses a housekeeping one and a little diva one and a cowgirl so, but the majority of it are the nurse ones, okay? And all my others, I, we would definitely do a project share on those later, at a later time. Okay, so, but right now, let's go ahead and do this video. Now, make sure, okay? Make sure you guys have the B of your choice that you would like to use, all right? I repeat, make sure you guys have the bees of your choice that you would like to use whenever you're doing these. You already know the 16 mil, 18 mil, 20 mil. The holes are big enough. They will fit this little string. Now, um, let me show you this one. Let's go ahead and talk about this one. You see this one? We had already did, I did this one. If y'all remember the sneak peek of the tie-dye. So, that's what I did. That's what it looked like finished, okay? That's what it looked like finished, guys. It is so cute. I can't wait to post them. Post them, post them. I've been doing a lot of shipping here lately, too. Let's see. Um, Let's go ahead and do this one. I'm going to go ahead and take this here beat off of this LPN one. I'm just going to lay that to the side. Because that is for another badge reel or for another zipper pull or something, okay? I'm going to go ahead and take this red one off. Y'all know we did the black, pink, and white in these. The black, red, 
pink and white I have those are the colors that I have so we're gonna go ahead and lay that to the side they are too cute they are too cute so we're gonna go ahead and get that out of the way now let's go ahead and do this we're gonna go ahead and do the RT now, make sure whenever you're doing these, make sure your what? Bad drill snap back. Make sure it snaps back. All right? Make sure it snaps back. Let's see if I can move my camera back so at least it's giving me. Okay, guys. All right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I got to get my lighting and stuff together. All right. We're gonna now y'all know how fast Miss D is. I'm gonna tell you right now. Y'all already know. But I'm gonna show y'all something the way I do it, okay? But go ahead and pull your string as far as you would like to work on it. As long as you have enough, okay. You see how I have it, but I'm gonna bring mine in some because I don't like it too far out. Make sure you have something. And this here's a little clip. You know, I get these from the Dollar Tree. They're pink, the little pink ones right here. Only thing I did was decorate this with flat beads. My little flat pearl beads. And I think I've showed y'all this before. If you go back and look at that haul, see how it eventually went back. That's why you need something to hold your um string right here. And that's what I did. And that's what I use mine for. These here. That's what I use it for. Okay. Y'all see. It is secured. And this is the LPN blue. My go to is the nail polish. But I decided not to do it right here. And we're going to. Go ahead and do this. You definitely need a pair of scissors. You need your little. Wire pliers, little pliers, whatever. And you just snip as close as you can. Okay. Y'all snip this cordon as close as you can from the bottom. You see right here. Y'all see. Snip it as close as you can. Okay. Miss D did. Make sure you have something in the middle. And I had every, well, you know what? I'm going to have to read your cards and I'm going to have to use this toothpick, baby. So, make sure you have something to get out the string that's in there. You see this little hole right here? And y'all see how I just left this on here. Now, I had a uh, here it is right here. Let me show y'all that. You can reach in here. And if y'all can see, it's a little piece right in there. You probably can't. You see right in here where it's right there. Okay. Let's deep in to take that out. Okay. All right, I'm going to show it to y'all. Here it is. This is the piece that was in there. Y'all see that little piece there? This is the piece of the string that was tied together to keep this on. Now, Miss D, why do you still have this on here? Because Miss D, y'all, y'all, like I said, y'all already know she fast over here just doing it her way. My fast, my way. So, guess what? I left it on here because when I went to doing them, now I know how to do these. I left it on here because I know how to just string it and work around this and just put the hole through there. If you can't do that, take this off. And I'm going to show y'all that after. We get through doing this. I'm going to show y'all the way I do it this way. Some most of the time too. They're to skip a step. Let's just say that to skip a step. 
So make sure you get your lighter right quick. Do like that. Get your bead of your choice. Let me see. I'm going to use this bead. I'm just going to use one bead. String your bead. That's all you're doing. You're stringing your bead. Okay? Now, you can very well add the beads like I did here. Okay? Y'all see right here? But I just ended up, I'm just putting one. You can put one, three, five, six, whatever you want on there. That's what you can do. Uh-oh, y'all. I'm missing one out of the, uh, I'm missing two. You know what? No. I just do it in the project share. I do it in the project share. Anyway, back to the video. Let's get back to the video. Now, you're ready to string up your, put this back in here sometimes y'all this here is not going to fit in this hole the majority of the time it will y'all see i'm having like i'm struggling so you know what i did y'all know what i do now like i say i don't got fast and a little smart so i don't have to struggle i just put a little hole like this here like this here not too big or whatever to open that up just a little bit I come back with this here and I string it through like so now y'all watch y'all see my string just come right on through y'all see my string just come right on through right and that's what I did that's why I say to avoid a step now I don't have to worry about putting this back on here if you can do it like that, do it. But that's just a skipper step. If you can't do it like this, I'm fixing to show you another way to take that off. You can take this off, that bottom piece off. Now we're fixing to tie it in a knot. Make sure you, your knot stays as close to the edge as possible, okay? Because you don't want your string to be shorter than what it needs to be for your um, customers to read retract the um uh, badge reel okay so let's see here we go that's it see y'all see that extra piece right here cut that off i always cut it off real close because it's not going away it's already in a knot I always get and burn it just a tad. That's what I do. And you have a knot. Y'all see? You have a knot right there. All right. Now, you can let it go. Y'all see how quick it snapped back? Look. Ta-da! And that's it. That's how we put these on. Okay, that's that one. We're going to go ahead and do this one. Now, this one is going to come off. We're going to take this one off. It's almost off anyway. So, we're going to go ahead and take this off to do the same thing of what we just did a minute ago. Now, to take this off, since it's already about off, I always get this, my little pliers like this, or whatever you use and however you get it off is fine with me. I always take this and I just pull back like so these over here by me ah. see you don't have to pull it back far but just enough okay now we have taken that off right we have taken it off that's it so now we're fixing to work with this now you just have this like this we're going to pull this like so. Okay. Watch. Make sure you have something holding your string. We're going to clip again. And do the same thing. 
we're going to do the same thing guys poke the hole through and this one here just fell right on out right there put that over there i'm gonna burn it right quick same steps same step we're going to use this bead right here because i'm not only i'm just using only one with um these here you can do them single and make them cute you know however you want to do it now now you get this after you took it off right if you didn't get it that time don't worry missy is gonna do it again like i say always put the whole bit more so it can go on through i'm not struggling to try to you see sometimes it'll want to come through this hole right here that's the problem too and that's not right okay just make sure if it goes through there it's not on there correctly so it's another hole which is right there at the bottom that it has to go through like this it has to feed through this hole here from here to here okay put it on we tie in a knot close to the edge as we possibly can i always do it twice you can do it once whatever works for you and however you've been doing it is fine but i just always do it twice to make sure okay so you guys can see that way make sure it's on you like it's supposed to be I'm going to go ahead and snip this off. Use the lighter right quick. And that's it. Now we have this, right? That's how you put the beads on here. And you know, um, now I'll tell y'all that at the end. Now it's time to put this back on there, right? Just put it in the hole like this. Hole like this. I always squeeze mine together just a tad but remember be mindful that this is hard and if you do it too long this is the strong metal piece right here it will hurt your hand okay it, it can hurt your hand your hand will be sore over time so i'm gonna hold this make sure that i'm squeezing this right here Oh, nope, I don't want it to go through there. I want it through here. Like so. So. Back through there. And that's it. It's on. That's it. That's how you put these on. That's another one. It's RT. Got that one. Now, we're going to go ahead and do Miss Sassy. Miss Diva, the high heels, the, um, what is it? What is it, y'all? I'm trying to say the name. TCA Company. What is it? Oh, I'm trying to thank Lord, have mercy. i think about it. But this is the, uh, Y'all, I can't even, that's bad. Well, you know what you're looking at, and then you just can't, you just won't even pop to in your mind. But anyway. Right there. Make sure you have something holding that string now, okay? Y'all see, I have something holding my string. I'm fixing to cut this. Like so. I'm going to take it off. Okay, and now I'm going to use this, my little diva shoe. I'm using these beads, y'all. I'm using these beads. And y'all, before you ask, these beads I've been had for a minute, 
I bought over time during the whole time that I first started my business. And I'm just not really beginning to use a lot of these beads. Okay. I can't really tell. I know the majority of them I did get off of Etsy. I just went on there and just started purchasing the big bubblegum beads. Okay. And I'm going to use that one. This one for that one right there. When I use the big bubblegum beads like that, I don't use like three or four. This here is a 20 mil. Is this? Let me see. 18. Uh, 16 mil. 16 to 18. 16 to 18. Uh, I think that's an 18. Let me see y'all. I'm going to tell y'all wrong. Yeah, that's a 16. That's a 16 mil. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Like so. Like so. You can use a toothpick or whatever you want to use to get this out. That's what I just do. You know, it will di it will eventually fall out. Sometimes it don't want to come out. So So I'm going to do it the way that I normally do it when I'm in here messing with these bad drills. So now y'all see the string right here that I'm trying to get out. That does not want to come out for some apparently reason. It's trying to give me a hard time. It's trying to give me a hard time. Any other time. Y'all, I've been done, had it out. There it is. Why? Because whoever had did it, it was on there pretty good. That's why I say, <laughs> they did the same thing. Make sure it's on there good. Okay, now you have this, like I showed y'all before. Okay. Like I just showed you guys. All right. We're going to take this, slide through this hole right here, like so. Let me show y'all so y'all can see. Sometimes you have to re um burn your, what I'm trying to say, burn your cording, y'all. Burn your cording or either sometimes you have to burn your reburn your cording that little string right there okay I just made the hole a little bit bigger to um for it to go through the hole okay all right y'all see See how it want to come through there? Anytime it comes through there like that, that's wrong, okay? Once again, anytime you see it come through like that, it's wrong. It is wrong. Make sure. That's why if you cannot, I repeat, if you cannot um, put your beads and stuff on, with this here bottom piece still connected to this right here this little piece right here if you cannot use it like that take it off that's just something i do okay i was just showing you guys that's just a step like i said miss fast miss little d over here and after i got into it and went to do it and making these bad drills baby it was over it was on so make sure you guys um take and put it as close to the edge like i say as you possibly can okay i'm i know that's gonna be pretty 
And when I finish it, I'm going to do it in silver too. I'm going to do it in silver. I'm going to paint. I'm not going to put no mesh bling or anything on it. Only thing I'm going to adhere to that is um, a charm at the bottom. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. Make sure you clip your end once again. You can also burn it too. You don't have to, but if you just want to be safe on the safe side, you can. Okay, now, see, you have your bead on the string. Now, you can let it go. Okay. I think I have some sets I could do with this here too. See, isn't that cute? That's for that. If I do, if I use a big bubblegum bead, I'm not putting on no more beads with it because that's all it really needs to me. That's cute. Bubblegum style. That is too cute. That's cute. Just like that. And I'm going to show y'all. Let me see. Because it's another set. Yeah. The Tiffany and Company does. Miss D. Yeah. Here's the other one. And I made um, uh, planner clips uh, out of some of these, too. A whole set. Planner dangles out of the Tiffany & Company. I think it's another piece in here somewhere. But I'll do this one later. I'm not going to do that one right now. I just thought I'd show you guys that right quick. Okay. Now we have did that one. Now we're fixing to do the cowboy. No, You know what? I'm not going to do this one. Because I thought, I'm like, okay, women, there's... The men ordered for me too, so I'm just gonna leave this one plain. You see, just the mop for the housekeeping. I'm just gonna leave this one plain. Cause sometimes they'll say, Do you have anything without the glitter? And I be feeling so bad, y'all. And I'm like, uh, I do and I can, so I have to make some without the glitter or the mesh bling and stuff like that. So some of them like it on the other men and some of them don't. So the ones that don't, I have to make sure I have some plain. So this one here will be kept plain, okay. We have one more that we're gonna do, and that is with the uh, that is with the cowboy. Let me put this here on here real quick before we even get started on that. Okay, the cowboy look that turned out so pretty, and I put gold around this, y'all. That's why I say I'm gonna put silver around this one. Look. That turned out so cute. So if you don't want to use the mesh bling, remember, get your go-to, your glue, your paint, or whatever you use, honey. Or either your go-to, as I do, which is the nail polish. And look what I did to embellish this here bad drill. Baby, there's none stop. But now we already know and we done talked about it. Let's go ahead and finish it. We're going to do the same thing with this one. So if the video be a little bit too lengthy for you guys, because I want to go th go through the whole step of this, pull your string out enough. Make sure you clamp. Y'all see? Clamp to hold. Have something to hold. Whatever you use to hold. Okay. Y'all see? All right, now we're gonna go ahead and cut close as we can. I'm gonna leave that little piece on like I normally do. I'm gonna take this out. Miss D is gonna leave that on. If it don't come off. Let me see, it look like it won't come off by itself. I need to move this bucket over here. Okay, that is out. There's the string right there. Uh-oh, it's popping on out. Put that over there. Okay, now, we'll go ahead and put this back on there like this. Let me squeeze this back down. Now, we have the string like this, right? We're going to do the same thing. Okay. 
Now, let's do the wood. And the reason why I'm going to use the wood is because of the cowboy. You know, when you out there doing out there with the cowboy and the cowgirl, the little cowgirl and stuff like that. But this is the cowgirl. Yes, she is pink. She is pretty. And we're going to use something out of here. Now, I love this one right here. I made a keychain out of this. I love this. Ooh, that's too cute. But I don't want it that big. Because I don't want the, the focus to be mainly on the bee. These bees here, the majority of these bees here. Nope, 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 nope. Nope. These bees here, some of them in here, like this, 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 this. Like these, these, these I get from Hobby Lobby. And y'all, right now Hobby Lobby has a, but I've been had these though. I'm just telling you where I get them from. And I think I ordered them offline. So if you go back and look at my Hobby Lobby haul, Hit the link. And right now, I think they have a sale. My son sent me a, a video talking about, Mama, I know you love being here. I say, I show sure wood. Where you at? He say, Hobby Lobby. I said, now you know that. I started telling him to pick me up some bees, but I didn't do it. He went to laughing. But anyway, y'all, because he know how I am. So, since I don't want the focus to be away from my bead, I'm going to use these little disc bees right here. I like that. Even though it's a little brown, a little darker than this. The hat, but it's okay. Because you know what I'm fixing to do? I'm fixing that. I ain't fixing to. Let me see if I have one. Um, uh, The file. And guess what I'm finna do? I'm finna. Guess what I'm finna do? I'm finna make some of it light. Because that's how I want it to be. Don't have to make it fully light, but I want it light. So, so now, okay, with that, and I'm finna do the same thing with this. I'm just going around. You don't have to do this with your bees. Sometimes I do just for something different to give it a look that I'm looking for. And I just want it to look, to have the little rust, the russet color to it, but a little classy pink, a little cutie pink too, since it's the cowgirl. And you know, we a little rough around the edges too, but we can also be sassy with it as well. Okay. I'm finna do this again. Okay. Sometimes I can be in deep that too long. Too much. Where's my bead? Uh, I'm going to use this little pink one right here. I'm gonna put this in here like so. And I'm going to use this little pink one right here like this. Now, I very well, I'm going to see how this looks. Because if it don't look right, baby, I'm going to have to just put stacks of them up. Just stack it or something. That's kind of cute, but I don't like it like that, y'all. Look, I don't like that. No, nope. Miss D don't like that. So she gonna have to find something that's cute and um pink to set it off these her wood bees. So guess what, Miss D gonna have to do? She gonna have to use them disc bees like this. So in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and strain this up. Let me cut this again, y'all, because I don't burnt that a little bit too much. We're gonna put it in this hole like so, y'all. Okay. Y'all see, there, there is the string. Closest to the hole as you can. To the end as you can. Closest to the end as you possibly can. You don't want your string to be real short. We'll put a little bead up. I should have kept it out. Now I know what I want to do with it. 
I tell you, let's do something else, girl. I'm trying to tell y'all. So y'all should enjoy this video. Like I said, this video here was going to be a little lengthy, but it's okay because I'm on here showing you guys how to add these um, beaded beads on here. Get your scissors and cut. Get your lighter and light. And that is it. Be careful about letting that go. And guess what? I did. Look, y'all see what I did? That's what that's what I'm looking for. Something like that. It could go with go with my nails too. Look. That's what I'm looking for. So it can still have that little russet look. If y'all see. But it still look cute at the same time. Give that pink and black. Baby. Like Woo! But now, now that we know how to add these beads to your badge reels. Let's add some charms right quick. Let's add these charms right quick. Okay, y'all already see I have a little love right here on the RN. And on this one, I'm going to go ahead and put it on this here CNA. So, y'all already know how I do with these here. So, I'm going to go ahead and just add these. There's one of them on there. This one. Okay. We're going to add another one. Let me see. Take this off. Uh, oh, here's one right here. Here's one right here. Open your it up just add it on there uh, maybe if I move this down some I can add it on here yeah that's all we're doing now we're just adding these charms right quick see that's on there like so we're going to add this here, uh, Tiffany and Company. We're going to add this high heel onto that one. I'm not going to add anything else on here. I'm not going to add anything else on here. Because it has its high heel shoe. It has its charm. It has the big bubblegum bead. The bubblegum bead is a 16 mil. Okay. It's a 16 mil. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that to me. Okay. See? The high heel to go with this. I was looking for my other high heel, the big silver one, but I didn't see it. So, some of them I'm not adding charms to. Some of them I will, like this one here. I'm not gonna add a charm to it because when you do, whenever you do your little beads and stuff like this, these are considered as charms. Now, I may like if I want to get a little fancy with it, so they can just be like a little cuter, you know, just a little extra. I can add love on this or something else or another just big bead or something. But I think it has enough on there for right now. And listen, I do it as a free gift to someone when they buy it or whatever. Now, for as this one, we already know no charms going on here. Excuse me, y'all. And this one, I might, I might put one. Hmm. You know what? I guess I'm going to put a love on that one, too, since it is an RN. And I can go ahead and get rid of some of these little bitty charms that I have. I forgot I even had these. Like I said, it's a lot of charms and stuff I had for so long and I'm just not coming across most of them. Y'all, I mean, literally I am. If y'all been following me, you guys already know that, so. 
but for the ones that are new, you don't know that. So that's why I'm you guys know. Oh, I hate when that do that. Oh no, baby. No. Oh, that's not going to work. Okay. I'm going to do this one more again. And listen, it didn't want to charm, y'all. I was trying to be nice to it. But it didn't. I don't guess it want to charm. Okay, we'll try it again. Okay, there you go, like so, okay, like that. Now, all of these have charms on them, except for this. Now, this is what I want to show y'all right here, right here. This here, that's why I, I recall when I bought these, when I end up getting this digital download from a vendor off of Etsy, look, a lot of these charms and stuff, honey, I'll tell you, I went to buy charms. I went to buy some of everything. Too much stuff. Now, I have the little boo. And I have the... Look, y'all. Look. I have the boot. Which one y'all think? The boot. I have the hat. I have the horse. I told y'all I did the whole thing. I have... A hat, the boot. I have the and a lot of these, like I say, I got off Etsy. Um, I have the horse. I have the gold horse. I did one y'all. I had the gold horse, but I took this off and I put the horse with the chain hooked to it, and then I had the chains coming down off the horse, honey. Honey, that she was proud of that. Yeah, that young lady was proud of that on badge reel. You hear what I tell you? But she wanted it to say a country country girl in town or something. And baby, she wore that for a minute. So, and everybody wanted to know where she get that from. Yes. So I have the horse because it was different. I have the horse. Y'all look. Y'all know that's bad. Look. I have the music note because you know you got to play the music look that's that antique I love that I have the jump rings too like that if I've used it oh I think I might use that mm -hmm. I like that boot though and I have the mic look I told y'all honey Miss D was just buying some everything look the little mic I think I'm going to do, we can be up there singing, we can do karaoke. Yeah, we can do some karaoke. Can't we? We can. So what y'all think I ought to put on there? The hat, the boot, the horse, or the, or the music note? Ooh. <laughs> That's funny, y'all, but this silver, the silver will go with this here because it's silver. And y'all see what I did? I put a little gold, my go-to, right here as well, on the bottle cap. And I might put just a little bit right here where I um made it light right here with the file. I'm going to go back and put that little painted gold. But I don't know. I might use the silver boot. I might use the silver boot because it's cute. Since, oh, y'all, look. I'm going to have to do a theme and just do some different ones. Now, they had to be cute, too. So, guess what? Miss D going to go with the boot. I, and y'all know what I could have did with the boot. Do y'all see this right here? Y'all see these little holes right here in the boot? Right there. And I ain't pay attention to it. I could have very well got my little bit of itty bitty three mil rhinestones and put them right there. Pink and put them in them. On this boot. Put them in the little holes right there. Pink or either the white ones. But the pink was with a show enough being cute. Baby. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to do the boot. 
that's going to do the boot. But I will do a, a whole theme. I'll do some more on here of these here. Because I have a whole, I have the star. I have, I think I'm, let me see. Let me show y'all real quick. I bet y'all like, she need to hurry up that video. Like I said, the video too lengthy, guys. Y'all, um, y'all just fast forward through the video right quick for me, okay? If you don't want to see, I was going to show y'all the, um, the, the star. I was going to show y'all the star. But if I can't find it for this video here, I will definitely find it and I will share it with you guys. It is the star. That's why I ordered all of these cowboy stuff and cowgirl stuff was for that particular reason. So we're going to go ahead and get this out of the way. I'm not going to use the music note. I'm not going to use the mic. We're going to go ahead and put that up so we can wrap up this video and give y'all a little info at the end. And we're going to clear it out. So, like I said, I hope you guys got what you needed out of this video. I'm going to put these up. And we're going to go ahead and add this charm. Put this jump ring on here. You can very well use a split ring if you have that too. But I'm not using the split rings. I'm just going to use the jump rings. But whenever you get the... Um, whenever you get, if you end up getting a badge reel for me, guys, the first thing you will get a note in there saying, please do not, whatever you do, do not retract your badge reel with your charms. Don't do that. Don't pull on your charms to retract. You, you're in risk of losing your charm. Okay. And that is not what you want to do. See, that's how it look y'all. That brow would have been cute too. But I'm going to go with this one. So, But I might go back and do the glitter with that. And that is it. That is it, y'all. But remember, this is how you add the beads to your badge reels. Okay? These are the beaded badge reels. I'm going to use my charms there for something else. Like I say, that's another whole video. You will need your little tools that you work with, okay, you would definitely need something to hold your um, badge reel whenever you're doing this, whenever you're doing, putting them on, whenever you're putting the beads on, and, and that's basically it. You, you would definitely need you some heat, a, a lighter. You would definitely need that to use with your um with your um badge reel and that is for the little string that comes out and remember i just showed y'all two ways that you can do that with that um string taking it out you can leave it on if you want to and if you don't want to you don't have to that was just miss fast miss d over here doing that so if you can't stand for this here bottom piece to be on while you're stringing up your beads be sure to take that off like i showed you guys okay just take it off. That's all you have to do with that. Let's see. So, let me show y'all again with this one. This is a CNA I had did. Look. And this here was for, um, this really was for my um, St. Patrick's Day, but I'm not going to show it to you guys now. But remember, make sure you have something holding your badge your string whenever you get ready to do the beaded okay make sure you do that and make sure I'm gonna go ahead and clip this back so y'all can see I'm gonna leave it up here make sure whatever you do make sure you can take this off as I showed you guys or leave it on to take this off be sure to cut closest to the edges you can tie your knot put a little heat to it and voila and that is it for this video guys i hope you guys got what you needed out of the video i hope you leave a comment like comment and share because we did that and honey once i learned how to do them it was over I went to town. 
I'm telling y'all, I went to town, so I would definitely be giving y'all a project share on all of these here, okay? On the ones I have done. And there will be more coming after this here, too, because I see as me looking, I do, I'm going to share like one or two more with you guys for right now. Then we're going to move on to something else because I think y'all have had enough of those badge reels. But I don't think you have because y'all definitely been leaving comments and that's what I like. Anyway, guys, this video has been a little bit too lengthy and we're going to get on out of here. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure your post notification bell is on so you don't miss video. In time is the upload over here at Closet Says. Post notification bell on so you don't miss a video. Make sure your subscribe button is what? Gray and not red. Thanks, guys.